Ron Spinch with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Hot Toys Power Pose 001 Mark 42. Now the Power Pose is a, a new thing that Hot Toys is doing that for a much cheaper price than their regular 1-6 scale figures, they're giving us the character with pretty much predetermined poses and more limited articulation, obviously making the figure much cheaper. And in doing so, making it a lot more affordable for collectors, especially with these Iron Man figures, because they keep churning them out. As you can see, you got a really nice package here with the Mark 42, uh, already in one of those kind of poses. Come around here to the side, uh, you just have the little information, Iron Man 3, Mark 42, blah, blah, blah. Come around to the back, you got the warnings, which all these hot toys have. Same thing on the other side. And then it is a slip cover, so you just slide that off and Mine's upside down, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, the whole darn thing's upside down, but you get the idea. And there's the, the clamshell where the, where the figure would be. In the background, you can see a stand and things like that. And a really nice grid pattern on here that's a really nice image. I do dig that. I mean, even though that this is a, a cheaper figure, I suppose, and not their fully articulated line, the packaging is still really nice. And I'm glad to see that Hot Toys didn't really skimp on that much at all. <laughs> but aside from the fact that I don't know how to put the package back in there after I take the figure out, that's about it for the packaging. <laughs> so how about we get the figure open up and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have the Power Pose Mark 42 open up and out of its packaging. Now, in addition to the, 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 the accessories that you get, which really aren't a lot, but for the price, I, I wouldn't expect a lot. Uh, you do get the instruction sheet, and this instruction sheet covers a lot of stuff. It shows the flying pose, the battle pose, uh, the light up function, interchangeable left repulsor palm, uh, how to switch the, the legs, the power pose, the feature, I, I guess, itself, including the, the, the display stand, and then what actually can move around. Uh, some features on, or some joints on here are fixed, and it basically warns you that if you force anything, you're gonna break the thing. And at less than $170 for this figure, it's still pretty expensive, and you don't really wanna break anything. So as I said, you do get a few accessories. Really, not that much, just different kind of display options that you can use. You do get a really nice display stand that says Stark Industries Mark 42 on here. Zoom in so that you can see that a little bit better. Really nice looking, I really dig that. Uh, you got a nice uh, top section. I mean, it's 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 just a display stand. You, you got some really nice uh, vents on here with some good wash detail on here. Nothing on the bottom, except that it says that it's Marvel. I mean, that's r really about it for the guy. Uh, you do have these grooves along the side, which these are used for. Uh, you see the little peg right on there. All you do is you put it in. It goes actually on this side. I think it goes on that side. It's uh, it, It's rounded. So oh, here it goes like that. So you peg that in there and then you take this and you can put this on, I keep doing it the wrong way. You can put it on there and it, it can go along this entire round track section. You can put it wherever you really want, uh, but you can see how that's uh, a little bit rounded. So you do have a specific way and then you got the, the pegs on here that really help make the figure stand. And I think that's a wonderful touch. It, it really helps out a lot. And then you do get a clear rod right here that allows you to use this for his flight pose. Then all you have to do is come around here, take this, and peg it in just like so. Uh, one thing that's really very nice is that right on here, there are actually kind of little bumpers on here, so you don't push all the way down and it fairly uh, protects the actual plastic on it. Then all you do, come around here, you put this right up the, <laughs> the, the unmentionable area, and then you can peg that right on there. Now, obviously, I don't have him in his uh, flight kind of configuration, but that's what you're basically looking at. He does come with an extra uh, open palm with the, the repulsor bit right there, which allows you to uh, interchange his, his left fist that I have in right now. And it's just an open hand. I mean, it's really nothing special, but I do love the, the attention to detail on here. It's a wonderful hand. Uh, we, we've gotten these hands before, so it's not, nothing overly spectacular. But it does let you come around here to th this fist and you can remove the fist. It is uh, just the standard kind of ball joint. And then you can take this and put that in there like so. So uh, it, it, it affords you the, you the ability to swap things out and, and create a little bit different poses, I guess. 
I'd probably say that's more beneficial when you're doing the flight pose than anything else, as it kind of lets him look like uh, he might be using his repulsor to, to, to stay floating there, I guess. One thing that is really cool is all the hands are compatible with previous uh, Hot Toy 1-6 scale figures. So for example, this is my uh, articulated hand from the Tony Stark uh, Mark 42 test scene, uh, and you got the articulated fingers. You can take this if you wanted to, and, I, and I, I really love this option. You can take that, put that in there, and it still has the open or the clear repulsor there, much like the one that actually comes with it. So you can get uh, more dynamic poses I said, you know, if, if you really wanted to with uh, having the hand be uh, articulated at the fingers. And you can do that also with the, the right hand, uh, but this one is r really perfect the way it is. It, it does have the, the bend, which allows you to get the repulsor kind of open like so. I, I, I I don't really have a, a purpose or need to replace this one. This one looks pretty good. You can put it, like I said, in, in a fist, much like what you have here, or you can just have it open just like this. So it really is your your own personal preference, but I really do like the fact that you can replace those and swap those out. Really kind of cool. I, I, I like it. Uh, but for the figure itself, I mean, th this is it. It's <laughs> pretty much, uh, uh, like I said, a, a pre-post figure. But it's still a good figure nonetheless. Uh, in terms of the articulation that is on it, the, the head can rotate like this. Nothing at the neck or anything, but you can rotate the head around. Uh, can move up and down. I can't see a way to get this to pop off, so you I don't think you can interchange this head with other Hot Toy Iron Man figures. Uh, and I'm not going to force it to, to get it to pop off. So you do have that. Uh, this moves around a little bit. Uh, you can see here at the shoulder, that's really about it. Uh, you can get uh, some poses with it to customize the look, I guess. These little bits here, these little flaps are on separate pieces, so you can get those moving up and down. This hand, uh, or this arm, you can see, does just a, a rotation kind of thing. Nothing too special there. I wonder if I can actually... Oh, sh okay, you definitely don't want to pull that out because there's a wire right there. Oops. <laughs> And I apologize for my language there, guys. Uh, I didn't expect that to happen. Hopefully, I didn't break anything. But again, th these are expensive figures, so you do want to be careful. And I really should not have done that. The instructions don't say that you can do that. So I do apologize. But uh, I'm going to check the light up feature right now. And all you have to do is you can see that the back panel just comes off. And then you got to switch right here. Um, and okay, thank God. Uh, you can see that it still lights up. You get the arc reactor here that lights up. You got this, that does light up. If you have the, the original hand, that will light up, but obviously the fist will not. You can see that the, the paint job is right there, and then the uh, the eyes light up as well. Oh, wow. Whew, that really made me nervous. So do not do that, guys. Wow, okay. <sighs> and honestly, it, it, that that's completely my fault. I'm pretty stupid. I should have thought about that just in general. So, yeah. But you guys got to see that. <laughs> but there's the light up feature. Uh, like I said, this just pegs in here on the back. Uh, wiggle that out. And then you can turn that off. And it's really nice. And, and the arc reactor here in his chest looks terrific. Zooming in so that you can see that. That is a gorgeous gorgeous piece i mean the amount of detail on there is fantastic and then you can see all the detail just in the the figure itself really sharp everything on here and you can see the the subtle difference here on the actual mark 42 mask i like it you got more lines and everything that make it look a little bit different than previous masks but really great look you can see color uh, variations in the gold absolute gorgeous red bits everything through here i mean the the paint detail is just really stupendous and then well, obviously he's got his back piece right there so really nice there's uh the iron butt <laughs> you come around to the side just absolute gorgeous detail all the way out molded perfectly painted beautifully uh it, it, what, if it's one thing that i will say about hot toys is they know how to uh, paint and sculpt their toys and that's a wonderful representation and really makes me look forward to getting the the fully articulated version coming down to the legs uh you can see that they move slightly there's not much this is all uh, a hard plan well this is actually kind of a little bit softer bit right here so you're not there's a little flex when you're moving this but that's really about it for the articulation in the tips. There's nothing at the knee there. Uh, this, well, actually, I, I no, that, that doesn't even rotate. This one will rotate. You get some flex here at the actual hip as well. You can see the, the softer bits 
around here, which a lot, well, is that even soft? Yeah, that is a little bit softer right through there, just this piece right here. Uh, the back section is hard, so that's the only soft bit right there, that little bit of gold. Uh, again, nothing at the knee, but you can see that it also rotates. Now, to get him in his, his flight pose, all you do is you take this, you give this a little push. Best way to do it is just kind of pull it off right there. You see it's on a ball joint. Take this, this kind of tough, pop it in just like so. Then come around here, this piece just detaches. You use this lower leg for everything and then you bring that in and drop it and come on get in there and just lock that into place and now you have him doing a heisman pose <laughs> really that's really what it looks like it's a heisman pose that's yeah look at me won the heisman <laughs> Uh, both of these uh, thighs uh, allow you to get that little rotation right up there. So the articulation is pretty much the same. Then you come down to the foot and the foot is actually on a ball joint. You can get a nice range of motion with it moves forward and back. It tilts side to side. You got this the heel section here, which is a, a softer rubber bit. And then you got the toes actually are a little bit flexible. They don't really hold the pose per se, but they are a little flexible. So when you have it in this... Uh, <laughs> I love the Heisman I, I, uh, reference. That's so funny. <laughs> and then, again, you just take this, come around here, you peg that into his lower section, and now you have him uh, in, in a flight pose. And it looks terrific. Coming up so that you can see that. I mean, it looks really good. And I love the clear stand on there because it really allows you to make it look like he is flying. All you have to do is hide that little black piece when you're positioning things. Like right there, looks really cool. And getting his uh, leg kind of, I mean, the only thing that's, I guess, bad is you can see the, the pole here when it's along his leg. But if you tilt that, like, for example, there, and well get that there we go you don't really even see the pole uh, especially with my lighting so i mean really very cool i absolutely love the way that you can display this and again uh, to take it off you just give this a little pop pull that off take this separate that take the other leg pop that in like so and then come around to this give that a nice little push and you have him back in his regular standing pose. Now, again, if you wanted to use the, the display stand without the flight uh, pole, I guess, you can use these little bits. All you do is you put these, and it's, it's kind of tough to do, so I'm going to leave them there. You can take this, and you got little holes on the bottom of his feet that you just line that up. And then there you go. You have that, and then just position the the feet around and now you can even stand there and the, the base is actually kind of attached to him so it, it stabilizes him and really makes it a, a wonderful display stand and makes him very sturdy on there and you don't necessarily need those little foot pegs uh, the ball joints in the ankle allow you to manipulate the feet so you can get him on a, on a good stance i guess but definitely very cool and then for a comparison despite the fact that he is on the display stand uh, he is still a one six scale figure so it scales perfectly with all existing Iron Man Hot Toys. And you can see that with, with the Tony Stark, you have a very nice presentation of, or comparison, I should say, between the different uh, golds and coloring for the Mark 42 bits that he came with compared to the, the larger scale figure. Now, as I said, the Power Post series is meant to be a cheaper alternative for collectors as opposed to their the regular 1-6 scale figures. And at less than $170, I really think that this does a great job of giving collectors that alternative. It is a much cheaper price point than the, the over $300 that the Mark 42 full figure is going to cost us. And if this is the only pose you're going to really put that Mark 42 in, this is a perfect alternative for it. The price is reduced because you don't get a lot of the accessories that are going to come with the regular full figure and the articulation is reduced minimizing the need for a whole lot of parts that that full size figure is going to basically require i absolutely love this guy and i'm super thrilled that i actually have him one thing that it does do though is really makes me want that full scale figure because i think this guy looks terrific but until that full size one comes out this is a absolutely 
perfect way to have the Mark 42 in my Iron Man display. Now, if you are interested in picking this guy up, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Sideshow Collectibles, where currently he's available for pre-order, and you can lock your version in today. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomus. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomus. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash And until next time, I'll talk to you later.